Welcome back to the Marching Arts Podcast. I am the Stress Master. And I'm a very under the weather tumor. Actually, it says Stress Master. Let me change that real quick. And we also have Jen with us again. Thank Hello. you, Jen, for joining. Oh, yeah. Good to be back. I missed you all last week. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was weird. It was weird. Uh, it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird because I was recording from a different place on my laptop. Oh um, yeah, so it's just kind of strange. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we got we got a lot. We're gonna well, go. We muddled, is, we go muddled through it. Yeah, we, we did. It. We did, and I think we did a good episode. We, we we don't have as much as last week, but what we did want to do is go over the scores, kind of the rankings where everybody's at, give our impressions on some things that we've noticed, and then we're actually going to watch Spirit of Atlanta. Because I've wanted to see the show um, since it came out. So we're going to definitely take a look at that. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And then we'll start with the scores. And we can kind of just, you know, talk about what we think. And So what I did is I compiled all the scores, the what we have so far. And I'll try to keep this up to date as we're going. Um, and you can see we, we have 21 total cores in world class. I have not done it for um, open. I'm going to wait to do it for open because they haven't all competed yet. So it's a little bit challenging to kind of rank anybody yet. Um, but I will get that done, but we're going to go ahead and start at the top here. So, and this, you got to, and this is the way it was when we marched too. East coast and West coast scores are different. Yeah. Take this with a grain of salt folks. Oh yeah. Um, like you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I, I said, while we were off air, I reckon Pacific Crest is probably scoring three to four full points higher if they're performing in the Midwest. Yeah, and it's just so weird because the rankings, like, as soon as everybody meets up, like, everything changes. Like, everything but, yeah. changes. It's it's a bit I, unfair on Pacific Crest as well because you have to look at who are they being compared against, you know? They're they're being compared against Blue Devils, Mandarins, and Vanguard, you know? And that that's a, that's a tough comparison for a core trying to crack top 12. And Santa Clara. <clears throat> I said Vanguard. Oh, you did say Vanguard. Okay. You know, yeah. here's here's one thing. So all you people that watch our videos, don't come at us about how scores don't. You can't compare scores. But we know. We know. This is for giggles. Okay? <laughs> and conversation. We know yeah. that we cannot score show to, you know, compare show to show scores. We get it. Until the preview of Champions, you're really not going to get a good read on who's where. Right? Mm -hmm. And then that's Until in San what, Antonio. Two, yeah. yeah, like two or three weeks from now. Is that three weeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah, if, if you think spirit of if you think spirit of Atlanta is coming in at twenty first place, you're absolutely crazy. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, they just haven't competed yet, so exactly. in a judged in a judged fashion. All right, so we have blue coats with an eighty one point nine, second place blue devils with an eighty one point three, uh, phantom regiment seventy nine point five. Look at that! I love you it. Go I phantom. Love it. <laughs> now crown. Now Boston and Crown have not competed in in three or four days. So it's absolutely truth that if they were yeah. to com they'll compete tonight, I think, but they'll come in above Phantom. So they'll reslot above Phantom and Phantom will truthfully be more in a fifth place slot. Yeah. I still think I still think that Phantom show's got potential to medal though. Oh. Call me crazy. I think that show's got potential to medal. I think that'd be great. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. And, and and maybe what we need to do is once we get um because we did our predictions last week. Um, and I, Way I'll too have early to, predictions. I'll have to put up a visual of that right now, so you guys can see that magic later. But I'll put up a prediction of yours and mine, and um, you know, it's kind of just seeing where we're at. And then what we'll do is we'll do mid season, and then we'll do you know, of course, finals. will will be the tell of all. So, all right. So maybe, maybe what we do is mid mid season. Let's let's do an adjustment of our rankings. And there you go. I never provided rankings. rankings. I'm too, I'm too in with Phantom to provide any kind of biased or unbiased thought. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. Here. Oh, I know. Not, <laughs> not when you're here. Oh, goodness. I have All right. <laughs> so, so Mandarins with a 76.6, they are now um, above Santa Clara. But I did look at the recaps. And one of, their, one of Mandarin's recaps, they're um, a point, 1.2 below santa clara and everybody else really i mean i think it's percussion so i think the percussion caption is where if if they were to improve that caption i think they'll slot higher you know what i mean 
So I'm sure that's something they're working on. And it's just, it's early season. We're just starting. So, but that, that was the one caption that stood out to me. Don't forget though. Murray Gussick had two years to write a show for this year, two years, you know, he's no slouch by any stretch of the imagination. There's no surprise to me at all that the Vanguard percussion section is hasn't hasn't missed a beat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. No or pun intended. intended. <laughs> and then we have Colts um, with the 75 8 fight. So look how close the Colts are with Santa Clara. And then uh-huh. Blue Stars. And once again, we know it's you can't really compare apple, apples to oranges to dates and, you know, cherries, but you know, we got it. Um Troopers 72.9, Madison Scouts with a 72.5, Blue Knights with a 72.25, Crest with a 70.7, Academy with a 67.25, and Cascades with a 61.65. So, I mean, like I, like we said, this is not not everybody's performed. Not everybody has performed recently in the last couple days. So it's a little more challenging to to bring it, you know, where so it needs to be. Let's but. Look- Let's look at the five cores that haven't competed and try to guess where they're going to slot into all of this mess, shall we? So, uh, Crown is start. A... Okay, go ahead. Well, I'll no, start. let's talk about the bottom ones that haven't competed yet. <laughs> That's what I mean, the, the five that haven't yeah, competed. 17 so, to 21. Yeah, so Crossman, I, I reckon they're going to slot in somewhere around 12th place. Uh, Genesis, I reckon, is going to probably slot in between 16 and 18. Jersey Surf, from what I'm hearing, I've actually seen some of Jersey Surf. They're a lot better than you might think they are. And they're a lot bigger as well. So I could see them slotting up in around that 16th place spot as well. Um, Music City, I don't know much about. And Spirit of Atlanta, I have seen that show. And that is, in my opinion, a top 12 show. Yeah, I am. So now the question is, the question is who gets knocked out? Here's, here's the interesting thing is I'm looking at that gap between Blue Knights and Pacific Crest. I'm not talking about scores. I'm talking about the gap. You know, yeah. so that to me says they've left room. And I hate to talk yeah. about judge conversations and conspiracy, but I'm going to talk about it. You know, so I I have a feeling that there's going to be, I think that Spirit will come in and squeeze in somewhere around that. Oh my gosh, look at that. 11 through 13 <laughs> is within a half a point of each other. And I think Spirit will come in probably around 71, 70, 71, just for one show. Just, just for safeguarding. And then they'll start to ramp up again. The judges will get a good read on them. Now, that's to say that you know they've, they've only been able to perform once. They got rained out last night. And, and the night before was an exhibition so, mm-hmm. of some sort, you know, a non-adjudicated. So they've, they've got at least one run under their belt. So I, I'm really curious to see what they come in. I just, I'm super excited because I love the show. I can't wait to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, so. it's always it's always the tough part in the beginning of the season because, like, you know, the judges are still trying to figure things out too, right? Because they, uh-huh. they need to know, okay, I've seen this show once. Where am I looking? <laughs> you know, uh-huh. where's my focal points? Where do I need to look for my area, you know? And then once they get that, then they'll kind of figure out, okay, I need to watch this, and then I need to switch over to here, and then I need to watch that, and then I need to switch over to here. So. Right. so while we're while we're talking about spirits, should we have a quick look at the uniforms? I've got them up on my screen here. Yes, sir. Let's sure. Do it. So yeah. So uh, uh, in other news as well about Spirit of Atlanta, while we're talking about them, they have released their uniform this week, and uh, um, I quite like it. If I'm honest I with love you. it. Um, <laughs> yeah, they uh, they tend they do wear this look here for probably two thirds of the show, something like that. Yeah. Um, and then you've got, of course. Now, the thing I like about this, there's that little flash of red and that little flash of white. And that, to me, is that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. You know, they they do this kind of rock look so well. You know, they, this mm. kind of reminds me of their 2019 costuming um, without being too flowy to create a visual issue. You know, they tailor these the, the coats better than they did in 2019. Mm. Um, I just really, I love this look, I think, and it's going to look, it looks really great on the field. Yeah. And then of course you got their, uh, without the coats on, uh, very blue coats, uh, tilt ask or, or, or downside up, I should say. Downside very up. Downside yeah. Downside up, up yeah. 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 So I'm trying to figure out a way to, to, uh, uh, frame this in a, not a negative way. 
Um, but I did take a look at so so I'm one of the moderators on DrumcorePlanet.com, and there was a thread on there talking about the uh, small amount of time that modern drum corps horn lines are playing. So I had a look at Blue Coats, and truth be told, I had to watch that show probably about four or five times before I set the stopwatch to it, simply because of it was trying to figure out which bits are, are recorded, you know. And when all was said and done, I, I measured approximately seven minutes of time in that show, which somehow was 13 minutes. Do we not have a... Do we not have a time There's no penalty for going too long. <laughs> 13 minutes in the show I watched. Anyway, I managed to count seven minutes of the sound of brass instruments. And then when I broke that sound of brass instruments about... It was about three minutes and 29 seconds of the entire horn line playing together. And the longest that they played together at any one point was just over a minute. Now, that's just the blue coats. And I know that it may sound like I'm picking on the blue coats. I'm not. Because I could probably do that for any modern drum corps um, and come up with similar numbers. And again, as a brass player, I find that a little bit frustrating. Let the brass players play. So I think that's that is there's two things that play there. It's how arrangements are arranged. You know, I mean, there are so many back and forth. There are so many features of sections now. You know, when we marched, everybody was playing all at once, you know, yeah. and that's the way it was. I think this is just modern drum corps. You just, the arrangements are, are, are very intricate and very, you know, feature heavy. And I think, uh, I think, I, you know, there's so much demand now in drum corps on in various different ways on your body on your lungs on your music on your on everything that i think that to have a successful drum corps show competitive show now it's not just about playing and oh my gosh don't let lightning strike me when i say that um but there's you know there's so much but there are different sections of it and they're featuring them in different ways i mean look how many drum corps are literally starting their show this year with percussion features Oh, yeah. You know, Justin, you need, to, you need to edit a lightning heavily. strike in there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at, you know, I mean, I don't know where they all shared notes, but like so many drum features in the first minute and a half of the show. And, and they did but the same thing for uniforms, too. I mean, look at everybody. Everybody's wearing opposite colors what they normally would wear. I know, right? Right. Know, everybody right? got the memo. And I'm like, <laughs> do they, like, secretly meet and go, hey, we're going to start every show with a drum feature, and then we're going to switch colors completely. Right, right, this, right. What you see Cavaliers so, added red to their uniform? I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> yeah. But this, this this goes back to what we were talking about Blue Devils, though, in that, that, that you know, we can, I can bag on the Blue Devils all I want. The simple fact is their design staff has figured out the winning formula, and that winning formula is visual first. Um, and to that end, they know what the judges want to see. Um, and... You know, you go back. So when I did that, when I did that look at blue coats, I then looked at. You'll like this, Justin. I, I timed ninety two freelancers, so my age out year. Our show was eleven minutes and thirty one seconds long. No, we didn't get a penalty somehow. Uh, do you know how long we played for, Justin? No, I have no idea. The full brass line played for over nine minutes. Jeez. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a matter of how things were arranged. Well, I think a lot. So, I think a lot of the 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 musical part now is in the pit, and also yeah. audio clips, mm -hmm. um, added things in the pit section that's coming out of the speakers. Exactly, so that's, and that's the thing is, and that's exactly the thing I was trying to say though is that that you can't do a a show like we did. You couldn't do a modern show like this doing now back in our day. The pits weren't set up for it. The mm -hmm. you know the the the, the brass players. We weren't guard members. You look at the skill set that brass members have to, and percussionists as well, have to have as far as dance is concerned. It's practically guard level. You yeah. know? My, my prime example is that kid that hangs from the cage in the beginning of y'all's show. I, I still think he's got my the greatest core. core. Hurts. I know, oh. I know. <laughs> Shout out to his core, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. But, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, is if you just said to us back in 1992, right, we want you to do this, you and I would have fell on the floor laughing. Yeah. 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 It's and a for all world. the, and for, yeah. And for all the people that, oh, drum corps back then was better or what's all this dancing and everything. This is what kids are signing up for. And this is what they yeah. want. This is what they're doing at their local level. So just because some old dinos don't like it 
doesn't mean or prefer it the way it was in the 80s or 90s. I mean, we were Don't dancing and moving in the 90s, too. So, yeah. I mean, it's just that, it's just a, you know, this is what the kids want. This is the experience they want. This is what they train for. You know, I mean, there's conversations all over Reddit during audition period. I want to audition for this core. What should I do? And people are literally telling them to take ballet classes or modern mm. classes or whatever. Yeah. Get some movement, get some stretching, get some flexibility. This is the conversations that are happening. And I'm, as a guard person, it doesn't phase me either way. And the only people that are complaining about it are people that would have fallen on the floor laughing if we asked the, the core to do a plie. Yeah. I mean, I've been teaching uh, when, when I I've been teaching plie, uh, toe point, jazz run, jazz walk for 15 years. I've been teaching that to every group, every every band I've ever taught. That's what we go. That's what we start with is the basics of we don't even go left, right, left, right. We're like, OK, well, how do we move our how do we hold our body and how do we. Movie. And that's been going on for 20 plus years. I think to, to some extent, I would agree. I remember when I picked up a horn again in 2016 with Kids Grove. And Kids Grove, if you go back and watch our shows, uh, maybe you could put some video up here somewhere uh, over the top of us. But um, you look at the shows that we did, and we, we, we did modern style drum court. I remember the first time somebody asked me to plie, I was like, what the hell is a plie? You know? <laughs> um, and to me, I still have nightmares about the, the third to last set from 2019 where. I had to jazz run at like something like three to five over 24 counts at 200 beats a minute across the backfield. But somehow I managed to pull it off. My hips never been the same since. But, right. Uh, I say, how are your knees? <laughs> with well, a tuba. With yeah. a tuba. You with a tuba. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I smile and I go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Because the things that I was expected to do while jazz running that. You know? Yeah. But, but it's, 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 it's different you know in the sense that you're right are we a dancer first are we a horn player first you know the same i mean i i saw a person in regiment that did like a full-on ron de jean like switch kick blah 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 with her with their horn in their hand and i was like huh that's pretty good and it looks great you know i've seen some what, really bad what, movement you know <laughs> what, what, what what the what the hell is a ron de jean can you show us how it, uh, how it no goes? On, i can't right? anymore <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Google it. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna watch um and this is preview night. Is this the most recent? This is the no. only recording that I that okay. I've seen. Um and we have we have these creature backdrops here. I think those are movable. Um they're starting off in the corner over there. So let, let's go ahead and take a watch and a listen. Just, here we go. Just as an FYI, this is not their closer. This close this doesn't feature their closer. Got it. a really tight stadium uh -huh. there's not much like um the not much room with where the pit is at you can't even see them that's how close it is you know that's true yeah that's true your beginning percussion feature you talked about. See, they are, exactly. <laughs> Nice ensemble sounds. Yeah. Look at all the people they have in their show. I love that. I love that support. You look 
color guard. Yeah. <laughs> nice sound. I love it. With all of the uh, mood setting they did for the first minute or so, when that brass hit, to me it has a lot more impact. Yeah. And and look at look at the on where where the brass are right now. They're against that white backdrop, and look how their uniforms pop off of it. That's where the all black really is effective because it's, you can see it. I like this a lot. Yeah. I will wear my underwear for a week and eat it live on this live stream if this court doesn't make finals. Telling ya, telling ya. <laughs> the thing I'm seeing with this court as opposed to last year is a bit of swagger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And swagger is important. Nice sound. Listen to that. Nice. Yeah. They've got power. I think their guard, caption head, and their designer also wrote really appropriate work. I mean, stuff they can do. using the trombone and we're not just doing glissandos. The trombone brings a very distinct sound to the brass ensemble. Yeah. Yeah, when used properly. Yeah. Not just the sound effect. get more comfortable on those props on those mechanics we'll see more from those characters too yeah very reminiscent of uh 2018 mandarins those uh those characters i don't remember that show we'll go and watch the video i put up last night you'll see <laughs> and while you're there like comment and subscribe hey. there's something that spirit does very well and that's their ballad selection just always comes across with this childlike quality and wonder. It's just. I loved their ballad last year, and even with the electronics fail last year, it was still one of my favorite yep. moments yep. Yep. of National Suite. And this they did, is the a kids didn't let it affect them. Nice, uh, nice for Sondo there.
nice use look of the at, field as well. Yeah, look at the staging of the color. Look yeah. at that. Really yep. well done. This is the, actually playing this the, the closer. closer. Okay. This is the closer. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> I I just I love 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 the show. I can't wait to see. This is a week old, so I can't wait to see what they've done going into it. I'm so sad that they got rained out at Crown Beat last night because I was so excited to see the show. This and, and Kanan has already said it. This is the top twelve show. It it just if if they're not on Saturday night, something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> you know, I I just. And I don't get I don't get to see them unless they're a Saturday night core, and I want them so badly to be a Saturday night core. No offense to Troopers, Crossman, Blue Knights, Madison. What I really want in my perfect world is I want Madison and Spirit on Saturday night. That's what I want. Well, I think I think you when know? you look at that bottom, I think when you look at that bottom part of the top twelve, Troopers and Crossman and <laughs> you know, Blue Knights, none of them have gotten any worse. Everybody else around them has gotten yeah, significantly everybody's gotten better. better. Yes. You know, so, yes. and at the end of the day, there's only 12 spaces. Um, mm -hmm. So when I look at this show, for, so first thing, I'll go through the uh, repertoire for those who are wondering. Uh, they open with a Reborn from Hereditary by Colin Stetson, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple, uh, Frolic from The Rabbit and the Rogue by Danny Elfman. Love Danny Elfman. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Festa Romance by Otto Respighi. Uh, so they're playing some Phantom stuff there, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> a Close Friend from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by James Newton. Night Creature by Duke Ellington. And their closer was What Could Have Been from Arcane League, League of Legends. So a lot of music in there. I like the show. The, the only criticism, and it's not a negative criticism, I'd like to see a little bit more contrast in the brass book. We know they can play loud. We know they can play very well. I'd like to hear a little bit more dynamic contrast uh, throughout the show. Because to me, the show seems to start here and end here, and it rarely drops below there. So um, if they can do that, I think this show is not only a top 12 show, but I think it's a potentially top half of the top 12 show. What do they constantly say about drum corps? They're blowing the gunk out in the beginning of the season? Yeah, just exactly. Teach the kids first, how to play first, and get their stamina just, and then bring in all that nuance. It'll come. Right, right It'll now, come. right yeah. now, it's just about getting it on the field. We make all the small adjustments after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think you look uh, at you look at Phantom, you look at Phantom Regiment. You guys are a completely different drum corps now than you were a week ago. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think the thing I like about the show compared to other shows in that pod that they're in is this show keeps my attention the entire time. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm not doing anything. And and I just I watch from start to finish. I want to see what's coming next. I want to, you know, so I'm I'm super I'm a super fan of this show. Um so yay. <laughs> I can't wait to Justin? see what, what they do with this. Yeah. No, I, I think it's a great start. I think they're a little bit behind um because they don't have their closer. Almost everybody else has their closers in the field, so maybe that that might hinder them a little bit, but I think that um, once they, they probably have it on there now, they're, they're probably, it's, this was a week ago, so they probably already have it on there. Um, I really like the bones of the show. What I mean by that is like the, the construction of the show is really good. And, you know, we're still, what, five weeks from finals. <laughs> so yeah. a lot can happen in five. I mean, look, when we marched, Cadet Garfield used to take two weeks off in the middle of tour, completely changed like almost their entire show and come out with a brand new show. And you'd mm -hmm. see them like, this is not the same show I just saw three weeks ago. Right. We did that as well. Uh, well, yeah, not right. as dramatically Phantom as they did, did though. Yeah. Did you forget 1990 when we dropped the entire middle of the show in 10 to 10s? Well, that, that's, that's 1990, though. Yeah. yeah. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us. It's going to be a shorter than usual um, episode, but thank you all for all your support. Please make sure you subscribe if you have not done so. That way you get notified when you, when you see videos that we're posting. Um, Kanan's doing a series on, on deep dives into different shows. Um, I'm sure I'm going to be doing some sort of series at some point. Um, but please make sure that you visit our channel. You support the channel if you can. We'd appreciate that. Um, we have a merchandise store where you can buy some cool merch. And then also our community page where you can see lots of different things that we have going on we have memberships and stuff like that to help support the channel so thank you guys so very much we appreciate it and we have a lot more drum corps season to go so oh, yeah. um yeah make sure you're on board yep. you guys Absolutely. have anything before we wrap it up no well, i'm just really I excited for more drum corps <laughs> well then why don't we wrap it up with uh, uh if you like what you've seen and you're one of the 63% of people that aren't currently subscribed, hit the subscribe button, please. It costs you nothing. It helps us out a ton. While you're down there, we have a merch store. Buy some stuff, please. That would be awesome. 
uh, I want to go to DCI finals, and that's how I get there. <laughs> um, outside of that, as I say every week, uh, no matter what, oh, no, another thing as well, comment. If you uh, think that we're talking out of our backside, please, uh, by all counts, uh, let us know. <laughs> Uh, also, if you think that we're right, stroke my ego, please. Thank you very much. So, as I say every week, no matter where you're doing it, no matter who you're doing it with, no matter how you're doing it, or no matter when you're doing it, just when you're doing it, make sure that you there. March, on. march on. March on. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.